what's in the middle of this sort of nonsense? There it is! There it is! I bet they're glad to get shot. Yes, well, they were a bit refined for round here. Who know to do with that? It's final surrender. He's won. Even if it were Mr and Mrs Rambo, he'd have driven them out. That's our Stephen. Aye, the thing from beyond that calls us mum and dad. Why can't we move away? Oh, don't exaggerate, Jeff. He's not a bad lad. No, sometimes he's a little angel. Sometimes he's asleep. Saturday. Saturday time all day. Where is it? Where's my comic? Oi, oi, oi. Where's my comic? Oh, they've done it again. They've not sent me time up. They're supposed to beam it through the letter box. Not any more than up. No, your father's stopped it. I don't see why you should rot your mind on my newspaper, Bill. You walked in up as it is. But you read it too. Just the one, just the once I did. Just to see what it was about. Mad mutant monsters from the world of the living dead. Complete rubbish. Cost more than my paper. It's got more in it. Don't you take his side. From now on, he buys it himself or he does without. Never you mind, our Stephen. Hey, the Brecks have moved out this morning. And they've left you this. Careful, it'll probably explode. Uh, there's a note with it. <laughs> Stephen, we wouldn't want your new neighbours to have the advantage we didn't, so here's all the ammunition we collected off your but you just... Oh, no. No. <laughs> Jimmy, buying them off you. Here's 50p. 50p? Yep. Is that all? Mm-hmm. What about my comic, Mum? All right. Put it back on order. I'd rather pay for you to keep your nose in that than cough up damages to them next door on the first day. Saturday is time warp day. On the far side of Sirius, the President of the Intergalactic Congress addresses the head of our security force. Are you telling me, Popsquiff, that you propose to evaporate the entire solar system? Popsquiff wriggled his tentacles. It's just a matter of pest control. I refer to the dominant species on the third planet from the sun. They could be a threat to the whole galaxy. New Popsquiff, send one of your agents at once. We must try talking to these human beings. We must give them a chance to reform before we evaporate them. This is Agent Quisquack. I've entered the Earth's atmosphere, but but there are missiles on my video screen. Mayday! Mayday! I'm ejecting. Ah! Oh, oh, Watch it, will you? Watch this. Hello, Gruy. You dozy wazzock. Hello. Don't you think you got a face like the back end of a camel? Yeah. You can say out to him when he's reading a comic. He's only got one brain cell. It's all used up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, but at least he can read with it. And what's that supposed to mean? Come here, I'll break your arm off. Yeah! Yeah. Hold on. Did you notice something funny about his trousers? Here you are, Enz. 
Come and get your nice calm. Hey, what's that strange creature in the chicken shed? Three letters beginning with a G. God. Nah, yeah, it doesn't fit. Gotta go now. What's the rush? There's gonna be an accident if I don't get there first. Where? Cafe door. <coughs> don't, don't be afraid, Earth Child. I'm Quizquack, agents of Sirius. I'm badly hurt. I'm going to die. I've got something important to tell you. A message for all human beings. Screw it. What are you doing without your trousers on? Do you know where you are? Out of space. He goes there every week. What's this, then? Parasites from Alpha Centauri. What do they do? Take over people's bodies. They've got groovies. How can you tell? Starry eyes, stripy pyjamas and funny feet. I'll give over. I was in a hurry. Do you want a drink or have you just come in to read your comic? Two callers, please. You know, you're a liability without all this space rubbish. You want to wait your ideas up. She's right, you know. You take that comic too serious. I don't know what's got into you. Parasites. What about Wally with that dice-throwing book he's had for two years now? One where you've got to defeat monsters and that. He's always at it. He never got past first dungeon. He's not lucky with dice. What about you with all them stickers? All that top star rubbish, right? Waste of money. No, it weren't. Neither's this. All something that could happen. One day, maybe we'll travel to the stars and, and meet beings from other planets. <laughs> Looks like they're here already. Look out, the pyjama people have landed. I'll get lost, Ninji. What are you going to do? Slap me with your egg on Captain Pyjama? What are you after? No, just came in for good laugh. You're not good at arm wrestling. Galaxy champion. Well, I've just beaten these three. And there's 50p says I'll beat you. All right, got 50p. Do it for a dare, then. Uh, straight up. Oh. You were so right, Ernie. I can feel the vibrations already. I can sense a presence, a watchfulness. Can't you? Yes, Doreen. I certainly can. Oh. Come along, Doreen. That was the last of the furniture. Oh. It were all very ordinary. Right, too ordinary. They're trying to hide from it. Oh, get away. You're as daft as our Stephen you are. Nay, it's your side he favours. Look. It were your Uncle Bob tried to roll channel in a bathtub. <laughs> Hey, here he comes now. Did you realise that he went out in his pyjamas this morning? I mean, what are the neighbours going to think? They'll think he's wee willy winky, and they're probably right. Oh, no, he's hurt. How oh, are Stephen? What's up? Have we had washed? Well, shut up. You gave us the fright of our lives. I didn't mean it. It was a dare. Dares? I'll give you a ruddy oh. dares in a minute. We're your new neighbours. May we come oh. in? Yeah, good. The door was open. I hope you don't mind. We saw you watching us through the window. Oh, it's only natural. <laughs> Young man <laughs> seems to be having a rough <laughs> time of it. <clears throat> oh, no offence. My husband speaks his mind. I believe in that. Oh, I. So do I. Uh, Mrs. Brett says uh, mm. you're in the communications business. In a way, a British Telecom Accounts Department. Mm. I think she might have been referring to your hobby, dear. I don't have a hobby, Doreen. I have an interest. Interplanetary communications. Unidentified flying objects. Wayne saucers. Oh, no. UFOs? And most informed people agree there has to be something in them. Yeah, little green men, I believe. I'm, I'm Sheila Grucock. This is my husband, Jeff, and uh, our Stephen. Uh, Ernie Treswell. Oh, pleased to meet you. Uh, E.T. Very appropriate. People often make jokes about what they don't understand, Mr. Grucock. <laughs> I'm Doreen. Well, it's nice of you to have dropped in. <laughs> if there's out we can do for you, you know. Um, a cup of sugar? Uh, a packet of dilithium crystals for your warp drive. I'll come round next door and help. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I think it's very important to be positive with young people, don't you, Mrs. Grucock? 
Ah, well, you see, We'd it's... We'd love a... you to help. All right. You want him, you've got him. I'll send him in when he's out of his pyjamas. Brilliant. Uh, see you later. Yes, certainly. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what a pair. They get on well with your Uncle Bob with them too. They'll not do our Stephen any good, you know. Hey, what are you letting him go next door for? Oh, they deserve it. There's nothing put in his head compared to the scrambled eggs he'll make in theirs. How did it finish? Uh, Quizquark got pecked to death by chickens before he could pass on the message. Earth got evaporated. All oh, right. Happens every day, doesn't it? It's right. Look, they've got books on it all. It's called a ley line and it's like an old track. I've marked it on the map. It's thousands of years old. But it's not there now, is it? There's buildings and stuff in the way. What's the point of him? Flying saucers was up and down him. That's why E.T.'s moved into spot him. I bet he came in one and all. Look, all I'm asking you to do is walk along the ley line with me. Ernie says it'll build our strength with its mysterious vibration. Then I'll have another arm wrestling competition with Nidgey, because I'm daft there, and I'll beat him, and it'll be a lot worse than tomato sauce. I don't see what these are going to do for us, Gruy. <sighs> They'll help us pick up the vibrations like radio aerials. I think I'm getting Simon Bates. What's up? I'm getting prickled to death here. Why can't we just walk round? You've got to follow the line exact. It's a straight track. There's no track here. Only thing that came this way is Nidgey's dog. How do you know? Cos it's left a message and I've just put my foot in it. Did you tell them what we were doing? No, it's how pathetic. It is pathetic. Shut up and keep your head down. Good seat. We're following the ley line. It goes out the back through the yard. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? I didn't tell you, because I thought it'd take too long to explain. It takes three quarters of an hour to explain. We had Gruy's new neighbours in earlier, and we don't want to hear it all again. Seen any flying saucers? Not so far today. That's because spacemen do their shopping on a Thursday. this ley line business. It is. The power's been flowing right through me. What's it like? Like I've been electrocuted. <laughs> that were really easy, Quidzy. We're here, aren't we? I'll die if I don't get some grub soon. Didn't we bring any sounds? Oh, have one of ours. What are you doing here? We've been following the ley line. What's your dealy boppers? For picking up the vibrations. Oh, dear. I think you may have misunderstood. We're dealing with very subtle forces here. You don't pick up the vibrations. You sense them. You feel them. I'll tell you what I feel like. I feel like a filleted addict. How come we didn't see you on the way, though? Well, we came by car. How could you? There's no roads. Uh, I drew the line on the map where you told me. There's no road, just bushes and brambles and ditches and mud. 
and walls and clog dancers and shops and back gardens. Just hold on, just hold your horses. Oh, yes. I think I see what must have happened. What? Your pencil slipped. Anyone can make a mistake. I'm not bothered, it were a laugh, weren't it? I'm glad you think so. I've still got clog marks on my backside. We're all a bit daft, weren't it? I mean, if we were on a flying saucer track, we'd have seen them buzzing around by now. We've lived here long enough. But we've not been looking out for them. I mean, what about the time the lights went out and the tellies went on the blink? That were a power cut. Yeah, that's what they said. Only said it were UFOs that did it. He said the government just don't tell us in case we panic. Man panicked anyway. Went off right in the middle of East Enders. There's an idea. They could do a soap called Space Enders with aliens in it. Then we wouldn't panic, cos we'd be used to it. But it'd be dangerous for them to reveal themselves. I mean, look what happened to Quiz Quack. He got shot out with missiles and then chickens pecked him to death. Quiz Quack? You're getting worse, you. He's getting worse. And then Tresswell's, well, they're as daft as he is. Mm. What's the latest? Looking for flying saucers. Oh. Oh, oh Jeff! What is it? What can you see? Nidji in his bathroom. What's he doing? Counting the airs on his chest. He's stopped now. Don't take long to count a free, does it? He's flexing his arm wrestling muscles in front of the mirror. Give it a year. He's supposed to be looking for spacecraft. Where's Stephen? Oh, having his breakfast. Oh. You know, he were up all last night looking for flying crockery. Oh. You are the chosen one, Damas. Climb onto the stone. Soon the star people will arrive. Their magic will fill you with inner strength. You will become the new Sun King. Good for you, Damas. Well, I get sunrise cereal for my breakfast. So it's like soggy cardboard. But Nidgy eats rusty nails for his breakfast. Where am I going to get my inner strength? flying chariot over by the ley line. Where is the chosen one? I am Gruaz. Give him the power, Doreen. I am Gruaz, the Sunshine King. Oh, yeah, and I'm Nidja, so the three heirs. What are you two doing here? We have to throw the dice to see who wins. Oh, not Woolly, he's all plus. <laughs> Woolly! What? You're all plus. You're the all plus one. Your mum said I'd come up and give you a shake. Are you coming out? Are you reading your comic all day? No, I'll see you later. I've got something to find out. Yes, fascinating. I've always believed there was something in it. It's possible they had some strange knowledge which may since have been forgotten. There's no stone endies around here. Think I could try it out on the wall over the worst ground? Oh, well, I don't think that's a very good idea. Don't laugh, Doreen. It's important to be positive. The power of the mind. He's unlimited. Oh, yeah. I've always thought that and all. Come off it, Gruby. We're bored with all that. Yeah, but Ernie says the mind is unlimited. Yours might be, but we're not waiting on a wall all day. Waiting for you to start fizzing and popping with star pillar. Right, then. I'll do it on my own. My mind's unlimited. It's that Ernie, isn't it? Gruby believes out he says. Well, I think it's time we made him unbehave. Are we going to do that? Is 
He's never going to fall for this. He will. You know how he gets. He'll be that carried away, you won't notice. Hey, look. Throw some mud in between the bricks. Makes it look more realistic. Yeah, that's the idea. All we've got to do now is turn up casual when he's going on about all his silly stuff. Can you remember what to say? Yeah. What are you doing here? I thought you weren't coming. Uh, do you see that? What? A strange glow. There was a strange glow around you. You reckon? Maybe it's worked. Maybe we've been given a special strength. Here, come down and test it out. Give us an arm wrestle. Both at once. Right. Right. Go! <laughs> That's amazing. You could be having me on, though, couldn't you? All right, then. Have a go at that wall there. Give it a karate kick. Come on, I'll draw a target. Right, go on. Wall now, I bet I could sail it easy. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah! I have the power! Where are you going? I'm gonna get Nidji. Oh no. Really What's nice. it gonna be this time, Captain Pajama? More sauce? Nah, not this time, Nidji. This time, the loser gets covered with mud and flour. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna look a treat then, aren't you? Nah, not this time. Best of three. <laughs> Suits me. Wait, we've got to tell you something. It were all we fixed the wall. It was a trick just to get you out of all that ET stuff. We we're gonna tell you, but you ran off. It can't have been. I jumped it. You can anyway. We're just confident. You made it, we? I've got to call it off. How can I? Go on. Oh, beings from beyond this world, speak to us. Speak to us with your minds. I feel a bit silly, Ernie. <sighs> You must take this seriously, Doreen. What is the point of us moving here in the first place if we don't make some effort to make contact? Yes, but I don't know what I should be doing. Oh. Focus your mind. Imagine that someone out there can hear us. Ingredients, milk and water. And then... Dry yeast goes in the top. <clears throat> Switch it on. And this is the easy way to make bread in a machine which has a preset cycle just like a washing machine. Now, the first thing it does is to mix the ingredients. I can feel something coming through, Doreen. What's it like? Like a presence, a vibration. There's definitely something there. Oh.
if you'd like to appear on a video board. Or... Stephen! Come on, you can't sit up here sulking like this all day. Are you in there? Didn't they even offer you a little part, Stephen? Yeah. They said I could be one of the workhouse boys as long as I didn't mind miming to the songs instead of singing. And I was one with bad legs, so I didn't have to run about. Well, it were a start. What? Right. He wouldn't know when I'd started and when I'd finished. I know how you feel. Only time I were ever in a school play, I had to be a tree in Sleeping Beauty. Then I kept dozing off, so I got relegated to a bush. <laughs> 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 That's better. We're not used to seeing you like this. No, the way you normally go on, you've started up your own show by now. Ah, we're lucky there. Yes, we He'd are. have had all his mates round, banging on the floor, thieving clothes out at cupboard. You've got it. Why didn't I think of that? What? Oh, your best mum and dad have ever had. Yes, well, we're the only ones, aren't we? Just think, my very own show. You can be in front row opening night. Which one of us opened our big mouth first? I dug the hole and you jumped straight in it. <laughs> Doesn't sound like one of the classic serials. <coughs> I think it's called Count Dracula Meets the A-Team. Yeah. Freeze, you bloodsucker. Get lost. You can't kill a vampire with bullets. Silver bullets, you idiot. Shoot him! Uh, that's what the audience will be shouting. It's all plus is this. We need someone with more action, in it? Well, I've got some action for you. Come down centre with me and help me find a present for me, Mum. Not if you go and dress like that. <laughs> what is up with you, Wooly? You've been mithering all morning. I'm bothered about me, Mum. She's worried about summer. But apart from getting older than that, you can always tell it's important, cos they don't tell you out. Well, buy her a present and that'll tear her up. <laughs> Can I help? I doubt it. What's it you're after, Betty? I've no idea. I came in for summer, but I've forgotten where it were. Do you think it's true about life beginning at 40? I don't know. Are you going to be 40? Next Wednesday. Congratulations. Happy birthday in advance. Oh, I don't know if it will be. I've been having thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Packing it in thoughts. That's terrible. I mean, the cafe. It's scary and ridiculous. There's no money in it. It's full of kids half the time. And they've now. Go around, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this, eh? A genuine piece of Capo del Monte, signed on the bottom by Capo himself. Oh, lovely workmanship. Now, you'd pay a tenner for this in one of them big stores, but don't worry, art lovers. I'm not asking ten. I'm not asking nine. I'm not asking eight. I'm not asking seven. Oh, no. Oh, no, not again. What are you asking? Same as last time. Nothing you could afford, so buzz off. Is this one birthday? So you keep telling me. But the answer's the same. I don't care. I have nothing for 50p. This is genuine Italian pottery. How come it's got made in Blackpool on the box, then? Blackpool in Naples. Now, buzz off or I'll call the police. No need. Hey? Here's one now. Oh, no, sorry, it's a traffic one. Hey, where's he gone? That was quick. And I've got legs on him, has he? We would have got 50p if we kept pushing, you know. Who cares, any road? We are rubbish anyway. Shops will be sort soon. I've still no present for me, Mum. I know. Down by the market. There's one of them bargain shops there. Fell up with a microphone. He slugs all sorts. Come on. Brilliant. She'll really appreciate it. A very old FBI special agent detective kit. Yeah, with cap gun and holster and a special badge. She'll have a great time. Hey, there's handcuffs there as well. Special use them on Gruwe. It was his fault. It wasn't my fault. Stop me hand up for the vase. I was hard to know we'd gone on to the next item. Maybe you'll take it back. Fat chance. That's all right. We'll use a kit in our show. We'll scrap boring old curse of Dracula's pussycat and we'll do a detective instead. But I've still no present for me, ma'am. We'll do the show for you, ma'am. Oh, yeah. She'll love that. She will. We'll make a cake and have a party and all. Yeah, it'll be like Rove Wright night, except Betty will be the queen. Yeah, and we'll invite all our mums and dads and all the kids who go to the cafe. Even Nidja. There's no need to go that far. <laughs> Hello. 
What's on your mind, Betty? Just look around you, Mr. Slater. What do you see? Note. Empty, isn't it? Precisely. You can't get out from that, Mr. Slater. No. Can you get another cup of tea out of that pot, do you think? What's happened to all the kids, then? Rehearsing a school play. Apart from Gang of Three, and they'll be rehearsing a new way to upset me. And some lemonade, crisps, peanuts, ice cream and stuff for sandwiches. Don't worry, we'll sort it. And what about money? It'll be our present to Betty. Great. Uh, we'll have some flour, eggs, icing, sugar and lemons. What for? I'm going to bake a giant butter cake. Better leave that to me. Why? I like cooking. School report said I was very creative. That's why. All right. We'll bake it together. You won't tell Betty, will you, ma'am? Of course not. It's a surprise party, isn't it? Uh, Mr. Slater knows I'm my mum and dad. We're going to have a surprise birthday show as well. Hey, what kind of show? We haven't rehearsed it yet. It's going to be really exciting, though. Right, you packed. Ah! Oi! Give us a break, will you? We're rehearsing. Uh, well, rehearse a quiet bit, then. There must be one. By the time we come to see this show, we'll have heard it 50 times through the ceiling. I know. Come on. I've only got till Wednesday. Make your minds up. I've made my mind up. Starsky and Hutch. Cagney and Lacey. I want to be a girl detective. Well, I don't. Why can't we just have one of each? Starsky and Lacey. Cagney and Hutch. What about me? Cagney, Hutch and Dempsey. Well, you can't be a detective. Why not? Because they'll be now to detect, will they? There's got to be a crime. There's got to be somebody that gets robbed or kidnapped. Yeah. Or tied to a lump of concrete and lobbed in a river. Or why don't we dynamite and they've lit the fuse? Do you think we'll make it, Cagney? I don't know, Hutch. We're running out of time. Don't fret yourselves. Take as long as you like. Why? Right, where are you going? Oh. Why? Because it's going to be me, in it? I'm the one that's going to get blown up or kidnapped. You get the best parts and I get a look of complete wally. You won't look a wally, wally. <laughs> I never thought of that. Does that make any difference? Now you've done it. You're looking forward to your birthday, Betty? Mm. Be just a day like any other. Oh, I don't know. I tell you what, if nothing else turns up, I'll take you out to a fish supper. You are very kind. But it's not really my birthday that's bothering me. I've got a decision to make. Hello, Peter. It's the rest of the gang, then. Hey, Mr Slater's speaking to you. Come over here and sit down. What's up? You've got a face like a wet week. Where is it? No, it's... Kids. Now, well, what's up with you, then, eh? No. You're quite sure it's not two notes, are you? You've guessed it. Well, tell us the tale, and I'll see if I can't arrange a summit conference. Is that a deal, then, Walla? It's a deal. You have been out? As long as you don't get done in it. Not anymore. We're doing Cagney, Hutch and Dempsey in the Mafia Cafe Affair. And I'm Cagney. And I'm Hutch. And Groo's the lady that owns a cafe in the story. Only I'm really Dempsey in disguise. And I get to capture the villain at the end. And it's a comedy. Ah, oh, there's not much doubt about that, is there? <laughs> There's still one problem, Mr Slater. We haven't got anybody to play the crook. Not if we're all detectives. No. Have you thought of inviting Niji to this play of yours? No way. Mind you, knowing what he's like, he'll probably turn up just to cause trouble. Well, not if you're in the play. He, he wouldn't cause any trouble then, would he? You don't mean... No way! I'm not having it. He's not in it. No way. <laughs> No way, he's not in it. He's a mortal enemy. It's like asking Doctor Who to do double act with the Daleks. He does. Anyway, I'm director and I've asked Nidji already. I said it was a difficult part and we couldn't do without him and he'd be brilliant. And he said he'd do it on account of how it was for better. There's only one condition. Groovy's got to ask him nicely. What? I'm not asking Nidji. You know what he's like. You want to start taking over. It's with my mum in it. We've only got another day. Right, then he's in. 
I'll go and get him. How come you change your mind so quick? Oh, it is for Betty. Here's a special occasion. Anyway, I thought somewhere else. What? Shh. So you want to be in our show, then? You asking me? I'm asking. Right, as soon as it's for Betty's birthday. Truce. Get me back! The game's up. Yeah, I've got to be going now anyway. What does happen at the end? Well, there's a fight. And you get beaten. You what? Well, I'm Dempsey in disguise and I get your arm lock and you cry for mercy. From you? It's acting, innit? You're supposed to be a good actor. I am. You're lucky to have me. You're not going to let us down? No, I'll be there. I expect there'll be a lot of people in the cafe tomorrow. What, all my fans and all. So remember, speak up and don't forget to face the audience. Just keep an eye on me. You'll get the idea. See ya. Dighead. I told you this would happen. Only reason I let him in is because he's got to cry to me for mercy in front of all them kids. Last scene, it's a beaut. There is another reason. It's my mum's birthday, in it? I want everything to go right. It will. Just as long as it doesn't turn into another nidigree scrap, like everything else. It won't. Look, I'm going over Quidzy's house tonight to bait your mum's kirk. Does she suspect out? No, not a thing. She thinks we've forgotten her. It's very kind of you, Mr. Slater. I'll pour it over here with my collection. Oh, dear, didn't she even get one from Peter? I told him not to bother and he didn't. Never mind. Mrs. Raheem took pity on me when I close and going round there for a special birthday cup of tea. I tell you what, Betty, you go along now and I'll look after it here. It's not exactly busy, is it? No. I think I've made my mind up. Have you got everything? Yeah. What about the kick? Is it done? It didn't burn her out, did it? I thought you won't make it. Yeah, well, I did, but I had to leave before it was finished. Is it all right? Where is it? Calm down. Mr Slater's got it over at the calf. Not enormous, though, is it? It's big enough. It's not as enormous as it was before half the mixture went on the kitchen wall. Yeah, well, I got...